The title of the message today is, What is the most important thing in this life? What is the most important thing in this life? Jesus taught that the most important thing in this life is to secure your rights to the kingdom of God. Jesus said, first, seek ye the kingdom of heaven. First, he said, seek ye the kingdom of heaven. And he said, if you do so, the earthly things that you need in this life, God will provide them. But first, you must secure your place in the kingdom of heaven above all things. And to do this is to find out what is it going to take to get to heaven. And when you find it out, you will do all that it takes to get to heaven. A man's goal, Jesus taught, that it is not to achieve the things of the world, but first to achieve the thing that is of God, and that is the kingdom. The Bible warns us that if we miss the kingdom, there is no other place to go but to the lake of fire. God has no middle place. It's either the kingdom of heaven or the lake of fire. So when a man do whatever it takes to enter into the kingdom, he's also at the same time doing whatever it takes not to be cast into the lake of fire. There are five steps you must take to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And if you take these five steps, you will secure your place in the kingdom. The first step is believe the gospel. The second step is after believing, repent of your sins. And then after repenting, the third step is, is to get baptized for the removal of your sins. And then the fourth step is, is to receive the spirit of the Lord on the inside of your life. Then the final step, which is the fifth step is, is to live upright, holy, and pure before the Lord. Let's go back to the first step. The Bible said the first step is to believe the gospel. The Bible said he that believe it shall be saved, but he that believe it not shall be damned. The second step is, Jesus said, I tell you no, that except you repent, you're going to perish. Then after repenting, the Bible tells us the third step is to get baptized for the remission of your sins. Peter said, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. Then the fourth step is, is to receive the spirit of the Lord in your life. For the Bible said, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he's none of his. So you got to receive the spirit of the Lord. The Bible said, except the man is born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Then the final step, which is the last step, is that you got to live upright before the Lord. For the Bible said, for the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. If you do these five steps, you will no doubt secure your place in the kingdom of heaven. But please do not think that you can just do part of them and you still can make it. You got to do all of them in order for you to make it to heaven. In the book of Acts, the second chapter of Acts, Peter preached Christ unto the people. And after the people believe on the gospel that Peter preached unto them about Jesus Christ, the people wanted to know after believing, what shall we do? And Peter said unto them after believing, repent. In other words, that was the second step. And then he said, be baptized. That was the third step. And then he said, receive the Holy Ghost. That was the fourth step. Now we know the last step. Once we obtain this salvation, we must maintain this salvation by living upright before the Lord. That is the last step, the fifth step.